Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. Last time we left off, we finished going through the pantry, solving all the puzzles in there. Uh, wasn't necessarily super, super bad, but uh, just took a lot of thinking and just it was kind of tedious trying to get everything together, at least in my opinion. It comes easy and comes hard to some people, so uh, in that case, we solved it and uh, we left. 45 minutes remain. The gate's been opened? One of the other teams must have done it. But the rest of us aren't even back yet. Well, we can fix that. Come on, let's get moving. Just then. Whoa. Did you two just get back? Yes, we did, but... Then the team that opened the AB gate must have been the ones who went through the blue door. That would be Luna, Phi, and Dio. Huh? Wait. You guys went through the green door, didn't you? Then why the hell did you come out of the blue do blue one? There's an explanation for that, I promise. Just tell me, have any of you seen Quark? Quark? No, we haven't seen him. Did something happen? He's gone. Gone? On the other side of the green door, we found a room called the Treatment Center. We found our key cards and left, but on our way out, he just... disappeared. So you went through the blue door to see if he'd gone in there? No, that's not it. Look at this map. long. So you, you go through the green door in a treatment center, and eventually you end up at the blue door. It looks like there's a pretty big room in the middle there. What is it? A warehouse similar to the one on floor A. In any event, we've spent some time searching, but have been unable to locate Quark. Huh. Well, maybe he went back to the other floor already. That is a possibility. I will return and see. I'm going back through the blue door. Figure I'll take a look at the area Luna and her team were searching. I'll come with you then. We've got a better chance at finding him with two pairs of ever eyes. Right. Thanks. Sorry about all this. I guess there's nothing for it. I'll help look for him. Me too. Then we'll leave floor eight to you guys. Right. Let's go. Come on, Clover. Right behind you. I'm putting weird emphasis on some of these words. I apologize. Ugh. Still trying to get in the groove of LPing constantly now. Ugh. I guess I'm just a little bit tired from work. But I do want to play this game, though. Tabmioji and I headed through the blue door while Alice, Clover, and Kate climbed into the elevator. It's getting quiet in the PEC room. That can go either way. Hmm. I remember this room gave me a little bit of trouble, actually. What is this place? It looks like a bunch of hazmat suits, probably for protection against viral or chemical agents. So these things keep you from getting sick? Yeah, that's the idea. We should ask Luna's group about them. They investigated this room first. Hey, there's another room underneath. Well, let's have a look then. I don't know if this is stuff we've already essentially heard before. I mean, we know all this, but uh, I think this text is new. At least I think so, anyway. Damn. He's not here. Oh, Quark. Where the hell did you go? I should have kept a closer eye on him. I just been watching. Temioji's face was drawn, and the knuckles of his fists were white. He was an old man, but until I, until then, I hadn't really realized how old. Suddenly, he looked very, very tired. Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll find him. Come on, let's go try somewhere else. 
I put a gentle hand on his shoulder and guided him toward the exit. Good guy, Sigma. You know? Uh... Hopefully everything's okay. But knowing this game and knowing what we've seen before... Eh. So this is the Floor B warehouse, huh? It looks just like the other one. That's pretty close. I'll give you that. A couple differences, though. Have a look over there. The doors are... shining? No way! Are these chromatic doors? Yeah, seems like it. See over here? They've got a box next to them, just like the ones next to the other doors. I guess they're all white doors this time. We should go tell the... No, first we look for Quark. But... Look, I don't think he's here. What do you say we head back to Floor A for now? Maybe somebody else has already found him. Alright. Let's go. Right. I mean, how could he get those go through those doors anyway? I mean, we know about the chromatic doors. You need the pairs and the solo to get through anyway, so... Or... Uh, wasn't there something about the plot that... Oh, jeez. I'm still trying to get my bearings and everything. It sucks whenever, like... I had to take a little break in between episodes or... Uh, and the story isn't, like, completely 100% fresh. Hmm? Dio! Oh, it's just you. I'm guessing you haven't found Quark? I ran into Clover and Alice in the warehouse up on floor A. They told me about Quark and how you're all looking for him. So he hasn't come back to the warehouse? Nope. Maybe he just went off to ruminate on a solution to this game. Chewing his cut, so to speak. What? Well, that's what ruminants do, isn't it? Hey! This is no time for jokes! You should be out there looking for him, too! Uh... Why would I do that? It sounds so boring. Aren't you worried about him? Why the hell would I be worried about some kid I've never even seen before? What? For all I know, he's Zero Senior. He could be hiding in some swank little cubbyhole, swirling a glass of brandy and gloating. Look at all those fools running around. <laughs> That's insane! Yeah, there's... What, there's no way? Are you sure? Nobody knows what Zero looks like. He could totally be a kid. I warned you, Tenmyoji. I told you it was a bad idea to just swallow everything that little bastard told you. I trust Quark. <laughs> Suit yourself. Just don't come crying to me when it bites you in the ass. The air grew thick with tension, but before their tempers managed to set it all, set it all right, a light, Phi burst into the room. Sigma. Good. You've got Tenmyoji and Dio with you. We found something. Come on, all of you. Did something happen? Just... you'll understand when you get there, alright? Now come on. Uh, where are we going? The crew quarters. It's never good any time going to the crew quarters. Never. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's see what happened. Who is it this time? I mean... Should I be surprised? I mean... We'll see what's up. We'll see. Could be, could be something entirely different. Or not. Yep, Luna and Alice. Once again. N no. What in the world? Your heart stops. Your bracelet comes off. There's a roaring in my ears. Breathing, heartbeat, my footsteps sounded muffled and as if I was hearing them through layers of cotton. I pressed a shaking hand to Alice's neck. Her skin was still warm, but the only pulse I felt was my own. I wonder if I can skip all this. No, I can't. Luna was the same. They're... They're dead. Both of them. 
By then, everyone had arrived, cramming themselves into the small cabin. Nobody spoke. Silence filled the room, flowing to my ears and throat like cold, brackish water. A chill shuddered its way through my body. I stood there, frozen, staring at them. I'd seen a corpse before, when we discovered the old woman, but this was different. The old woman had always been dead, at least to me, but Alice and Luna I had known. They had been living, breathing people less than an hour ago. Reality settled around my shoulders like a thick lead blanket, blanket, and my chest felt suddenly hollow. Who, who found them? My throat felt dry as I spoke. It was a full minute before someone answered. Clover, I think. When Kay and I ran over, she was just kind of standing there next to the bodies. It was pretty clear they were both dead. I think Clover killed them. Me? Kill them? You got into a fight with Alice after the A-B game, didn't you? It looked like you two knew each other before you ended up here. So maybe you were trying to get her killed. None of us had any connection to her, which means you're the most likely to have a motive for murder. It's easy to see why she would have killed Luna, too. She probably caught you offing Alice, so you did her in, too, so she wouldn't rat you out. Stop it, Dio. And the A-B game is a motive, too. What do you mean? Once someone's dead, they can't vote anymore. That means they'll automatically ally. If your opponent's guaranteed to ally, then that's an easy three points. Who's Luna's opponent? Me and Dio. Then that would mean Dio had a motive as well. Yep. Alice saw him killing Luna, so he had to shut her up. <laughs> Why the hell would I do something like that? Pay attention next time. You do it to get an advantage in the next round of the AB game. What kind of cold-hearted bastard kills a lady for a few points? I'm more interested in Alice's condition than in her killer's motives. I am as well. What do you mean by her condition? Her clothes are barely disturbed. If it weren't for the knife and, uh, blood, she would look as if she was sleeping. Yeah, you're right. Well, maybe she was just killed while she was sleeping? If she wanted to take a nap, why sit on the floor when there's a bed nearby? That is a little strange. But a better question is, would she really be sleeping right now anyway? Hardly seems like a time for a nap. She was probably put to sleep then. What? How? Oh, come on. How did Zero Senior knock all of us out? Oh. Yeah, that white gas. So you're suggesting that Zero Senior knocked them out with the white gas, then killed them both? Yeah. However it happened, one of the people in this room did it. Well, maybe not one of the people in this room. I forgot about somebody, didn't I? Are you talking about Quark? He disappears and then suddenly there's a murder? I don't know about you, but that seems pretty suspicious to me. Nah, that's crazy. Quark couldn't have done this. All right, then why'd he disappear? There, there must have been some kind of accident. Then I might have it backwards. If he wasn't the murderer, maybe he was one of the murdered. Well, that would explain his sudden disappearance, right? You son of a bitch. Dio, knock it off. It's going too far. Whoa, whoa, calm down there, big guy. Don't tell me it never crossed your mind. I just said what you were all thinking. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. All players, please enter your votes if no vote is recorded. All right. Time to head for the A-B rooms, guys. Come on, we've got more important things to worry about. Oh, so you're gonna abstain, huh? That's some good luck for you, Clover. Sigma was paired with Alice. Sadly, it looks like she won't be able to vote during this round. If Sigma abstains, then you'll have no one voting against you. Hey, come on, cheer up. This is your chance to escape. Escape? That's right. Right now, your BP's at six. Sigma's saying he won't vote, so if you choose betray... Clover would get three points, bringing her to nine. 
Whoa, hold on there. I didn't say anything by not voting. Oh, so you are going to vote? Well, you are, right? How exciting. Sigma should have six BP, just like Clover. That means this next round is a one-on-one -on -one fight. If one of them can trick the other one, they'll have enough BP to get out of here. Can't wait to see who wins. Ha! <laughs> oh, this is definitely getting interesting. Right. We should get to the Flore warehouse, guys. Come on. Hey, Clover, can you choose Ally? We'll be stuck at six points if we both choose Betray. But if we both cooperate, we'll get two points, and then we'll have eight. That means it'll be pretty easy for us to get nine the next round. Yeah? I meant to say Clover. I said I want you to choose Ally. Okay. You'll choose Ally too, right? Of course. She gave me a strange sort of absent nod and turned to shuffle into the closest AB room. I wasn't sure she'd actually understood me, but given the effect that Alice's death was having on her, I didn't think there was much else I could have done. I was preparing to enter our AB room of my own when I heard Fi's voice at my elbow and turned. Sigma, we need to talk. Oh, hey Fi. Something up? How are you planning to vote? Well, I was just talking to Clover about that. We're planning to both vote ally. Yeah, I thought so. Huh? Listen to me, Sigma. Because Luna is... Because Luna's not voting in this round. Her vote will default to ally. Her opponent is Dio and me. That means we're pretty much guaranteed to have 9 BP by the end of this round. You and Dio are gonna choose Betray? Luna's only got one BP left, but she's not wearing her bracelet anymore. You saw that, right? That means it won't do anything if her BP goes negative. Well, it's not like it can make her any deader anyway. You have to betray Clover. If you can get to 9 BP, then I'll take you with us. Wait. You mean you're planning to escape? Of course. If you don't come with us, you're going to be stuck here for the rest of your life. Why? If you just wait until everyone's got 9 BP... I can't do that. You really think Dio's gonna stick around once he's got enough points to split? You gotta make a choice here. The number 9 door is only gonna open once. If you pick Ally and Clover does too, then you only have 8 points. I promise you Dio's gonna make a break for it as soon as he can. If you wanna have any chance of getting out, you need those 3 points. Now. So if I want to get out, I have to betray Clover? Right. Why are you telling me this? How do I know you didn't just tell Clover the same thing? Talk to Clover? I'd have about as much luck talking to a potato right now. The truth is, I want you to come with me. Why? I just... know that you're important, somehow. You like me? Alright. You just know, huh? Did you tell Kay? He's got six points right now too, you know. No, I haven't talked to him. He's playing against Ten Miyoji. Ten Miyoji's only got one point left. So he chooses ally. He's gonna get penalized. Exactly. One. It's almost time. Remember what I said. You have to choose betray. She looked me in the eye until I nodded, and turned and jogged to her door. Whew! Um... Well, this is gonna be an interesting one. I already have thoughts going in my mind right now, what I should do. Um... I think I have a choice, though. Is Clover really going to choose Ally? If she does, then all I have to do is choose Betray, and I'm out of here. No, I promised i choose Ally, so that's what I'm going to do. But 
Dio's almost certainly gonna have 9 BP after this round. If he gets out, I'm gonna be stuck here forever. Ten seconds re nine, eight, seven. Damn it. What the hell am I supposed to do? Three, two, one. And I must make a choice. Now hmm. Uh, I'll save it for the next episode. Why do I make an actual make an actual decision? But I'm thinking, I I kind of I, I do have a choice in mind already, and I'm trying to think of pre like the track record of all the times we chose betray or ally in a certain situation like this, and like what what Clover has done before. And even thinking what Fi even said is true. They have 6 BP. Luna was their... Uh, yeah, Luna was their um, opponent. So, and because she's dead, she'll automatically ally. Of course, they'll pick Betray, get 9 BP, get the hell out. Especially knowing Dio. So, I wouldn't see... I, I think picking any, any one of these choices, ally or Betray... Um, the game will end. There'll be, like, a couple game overs, if you want to say, right there and then. Because, if I pick Ally, I'm just assuming here. I pick Ally, I'm assuming. I don't know why, I feel like Clover might pick Betray, regardless. She's kind of out of it right now. So that means that, who's, who's going to have 9pp? Dio, Fi, and Clover. So they'll probably all leave. But if I choose Betray, I still have a feeling that Clover will not pick Ally, period. So that means that we'll kind of might just both be stuck. And regardless, I think Fi and Dio can possibly leave. That's how I'm looking at it anyway. Uh, in any case, we'll make a decision next episode and just take it from there. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Virtue's Last Reward. I'll see you guys later.